Buongiorno, this is Maurizio Mazzò, executive chef from Infornaio and Canaletto. Today we're going to cook a risotto together. Risotto, this is a, a particular rice imported uh, directly from Italy, from Trentino area, is in uh, north of Italy. And if you get this package, me, you've been in uh, our Festa Regionale, featuring um, March 6th to 20th. 2011 is up and just right now they give you this beautiful package and I'm gonna teach you how to cook the risotto what you have to do the first thing is to open the bag at the least 30 minutes because you want the rice to breathe so everything is on the rice you don't need to do so much stuff there is all the mushrooms from the Alps from the Dolomites all the herbs from that area so you have to let them breathe so you can see the color the rice changing color because I've been on this bag for a while so you have a, a, a three quarter of saucepan. You bring to boil six um, cups of chicken stock or vegetarian stock. Which one way? You can choose. Um, in this rice, there is no any dairy. There is no meat. So it's only vegetable. OK, so let's start. Warm it up. There's a three quarter saucepan with one tablespoon of uh, extra virgin olive oil. One is enough. You just add one tablespoon of shallots, already chopped. And the garlic. Uh, garlic, you don't want much garlic there. There is already some over there, but you want it to refresh the, fav uh, the flavor. So I will put it just half. And uh, we don't even chop, just uh, smash with the blade of knife and just put it there for the flavor. So if you don't like to eat it, you can discard or take it off. OK? Another important thing to make a risotto, you need a ladle. A wood is the best, uh, a spoon is the best. It has to be flat. The reason to be flat when you turn the rice, because they have a tendency to stick on the bottom, so you, you don't uh, let them burn. So you can see um, the onions cooking. So as the, the, the onions start to cook, you add the rice. And we need to toast the rice. So this is a very important. So you lower your heat uh, there. So you want it very low. And then toast the rice for two minutes. What I mean to toast? There is only olive oil. There is no liquid, not um, um, uh, water or uh, stock, nothing. Just toast the rice. So be sure you sear the rice and, uh, um, and, and the flavor getting there. So that's what you need to do for a one minute or two. Like this, and move the, the rice all the time, otherwise it's going to be burned. And then um, you add um, a tablespoon of, of, of um, wine. One and a half, that's OK. And then you let evaporate it, so it needs to be dry. You need to take all the wine, dry up, because otherwise, you're gonna, when you um, eat the risotto, you're going to taste the acidity of the wine. So you want the wine evaporate all the way through. So now when the wine is evaporated, we're going to add, um, at the time, this is a probably uh, four ounces of boiling uh, stock. You want to have the stock boiling. You don't want to put a cold. Um, liquid on the hot risotto. So in other ways you need to stir. So you need to be keep the risotto cover all the times. Don't put the liquid all the way through, but at the time. And it's going to take 18 to 20 minutes. OK, the soon the liquid um, evaporated. You add a little more, keep the risotto always covered with a stock. Even if it's chicken or if it's a vegetarian, doesn't matter, but risotto always needs to be covered. OK? So let the boil there slowly and go through for the 18 to 20 minutes. So, and now after 15 minutes, 15 to 18 minutes, the rice um, is ready. And, um, and then we're going to turn this rice in risotto. It's two different things. So you turn it off. The eat, and then that's the most important thing for the great result for the risotto. 
So when it's done and the, the rice is cooked, is perfectly done, you want to keep it al dente. So you um, take your, um, your pan on, and you put it on, on the napping on just right here. And then we add the last of ingredients. So we're talking about um, half tablespoon of parsley to refresh. Uh, we're talking about uh, one, two, and three tablespoon of Parmesan cheese. Most of the risotto, they are um, ended with, uh, we finish with um, uh, butter. But this particular risotto, I will strongly suggest to do it with extra virgin olive oil is an alternative better than butter. So we just uh, uh, do it with uh, one tablespoon and a half. OK, so now this is the most important thing. So this is for the best result of a risotto, you need to, in Italy we call mantecare. Mantecare means stir the risotto for one to two minutes and get all the, uh, looks like a creamy. If you see the risotto, it's becoming a little creamy, so you, you turn the rice to go against the wall of the pan, make a little creamy, but there is no cream over here. So see, I move the, pa the pans like this, and the, and, the, and the mesto in the same time. And that's important, that's what you need to do for one to two minutes. So now we're gonna serve in the plate. Plate, when you serve it, never serve risotto on the bowl, because when you put the risotto in the bowl, the amount of risotto is gonna sit, start to cook, it's gonna be overcooked. So you don't wanna serve the risotto overcooked, so you wanna kinda flat a plate. So the risotto is gonna be cooled um, all together, so. This risotto is good for three to four uh, person. Uh, as a, as a, like a premium portion before your main course, or maybe for somebody very hungry, just uh, one guy can eat it. That's fine. Here you go, that's the risotto. And I will not make a big garnish, just to keep it simple, maybe a little uh, parsley leaves, keep it simple, but uh, natural and the ingredients, they are, uh, they are great ingredients from Italy, and uh, you are ready to introduce this dish to your friends or um, your family. Buon appetito!